What's up? What is up everyone? It is me with ADHD and today is a good day. It has finally happened. Us nerds have prayed for this day and it's finally here. We can finally have a medical prescription to play video games. What am I talking about here? Well, let me tell you about it friends. But first, before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe, stay up to date with all my new content. Moving on. So the FDA, for the very first time, has authorized doctors to be able to prescribe an iPhone slash iPad game to kids to treat ADHD. The treatment is targeted to children of ages 8 to 12 and is to be played for about 25 minutes a day, 5 days a week over the course of a 4 week treatment. Now this is exciting. It's not every day that we hear about ADHD at all, let alone a new treatment. So you might be wondering, because I mean, I know I was, who are these people out there creating ADHD video games? The company behind the game is called Achille. I think it's pronounced Achille or Achille, Achille. I, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. Is a team of people creating digital treatments for cognitive impairments such as ADHD. They claim their experiences are medicines look and feel like high-end interactive action games, but unlike a typical video games, they are informed by decades of neuroscience and built with proprietary technology developed to target and to treat cognitive impairments at the specific source in the brain. Well, I mean, that's quite the bold statement right there. This company have created stuff in the past, so they also created an app for your phone called uh, ADHD Insight, if any of my parents out there have used that already. It's basically an app to track and monitor your child's ADHD. It's pretty cool actually. You can use it to track behaviors and symptoms. You can view data in charts to monitor patterns of behavior. It has information about ADHD treatment specifically to help you navigate conversations with doctors and teachers, etc. I mean, it's pretty cool stuff. So anyway, back to the cooler part, the video game. The name of it is called Endeavor and it's actually been a long time coming. The first news I saw of it was in a Verge article back in like 2014 when they were still in testing. Since then, there's been like five clinical tests of over 600 children, which has produced pretty positive results actually. Uh, a large number of them, 36% to be exact, showed improvement in at least one objective measure of attention after playing. Other kids that were tested in the control group on a regular word game only saw a 21% improvement. So there is a big difference there. One thing to note here is though, these studies were run by researchers who are funded by the company. So think what you will of that information. So what is the game exactly? Well, the game consists of the player traversing various landscapes, either dodging obstacles or collecting targets, while other distractions pop up on the screen. This, according to the developers, stresses the ability to pay attention to multiple things at once. The game also has an adaptive difficulty spike that grows uh, as the player improves over time. It's currently only available for iPhone and iPad right now, so unfortunately a low-life Android user like me can't get it, but I will try to get it on my wife's phone and I'll check it out and review it for you guys. Overall, I think that it's pretty awesome. I'm a big gamer myself and a big advocate of video games and a lot of the time I genuinely feel that video games are one of the only things that can actually keep my full attention. And that's the same for a lot of people, I think. So for people to look at that and use the science behind cognitive impairments to create a game that's designed to treat ADHD is like awesome. I also love that they're referring it to it as medicine as well. For too long, there's been a stigma with that word and it can scare people away from being treated through fear of backlash or negativity. Doing this broadens the term of medicine and it can help to create a more positive connotation when you think about the word medicine. And that's cool. 
Right now, I believe if you join the waitlist on their website, you can actually get the app without a doctor's prescription too. And that's because of COVID-19 and the FDA's uh, emergency guidelines on digital health services. So if you want to check it out, you can do that and check it out. But anyway, guys, what do you think of the new medicine for ADHD? Are you going to try it out? I certainly am. Even though it's for kids, I think it's going to be interesting to see how it affects adults too. Let me know if you guys are going to check it out and what you guys think about it. Maybe you'll get it before I get it. Anyway, that's all I have time for you guys today. Like the video if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay up to date with all my new content. And I will see you guys in the next one.